mean to tell me you got the audacity to think that everything God wants you to know can only be found in the Bible? Yeah. Yeah. You know why? Because the Bible says it. It says that they speak not according to this word, God's word. There is no light in them. And the interesting thing about that word or phrase for no light, it means dawn. If you don't speak according to God's word, it means you do not even have a shred of light in you. Moses had no Bible. Joshua had no Bible. Yeah, Moses had a Bible because he wrote the first five books of the Bible, so Joshua did too. Abraham had no Bible. All they had was a word from God they heard and a feeling in their heart. I give it to you that Abraham had no Bible, but he still had the word of God because he walked with God. Notice what happened when Abraham trusted his feelings. He took his second wife, and they had Ishmael. He lied about his wife twice. When Abraham did not trust his feelings, then he overcame. Then we see the story of Mount Moriah when he took Isaac up there, and God says, no, it's okay, you don't have to sacrifice him. This is just a test. Moses, when he trusted his feelings, you know what he did? He committed murder. He struck the rock the second time when he was only supposed to speak to it. When they trusted the word of God, they did not trust their feelings. Why? Because they knew the truth of Jeremiah 17, 9, where it says, The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? When Moses learned not to trust his feelings, then eventually God let him die, and he resurrected him and took him to heaven, after he learned not to trust his feelings. And here we are telling folk to stop trusting what they feel. But yeah. I'm going to keep telling people not to trust their feelings when it comes to the Word of God. If their feelings go against the Word of God, you know what? Their feelings are lying to them. The Word of God is paramount. Not your feelings, not your opinions. The Bible prophesies a time in Revelation chapter 13 when apostate evangelicalism will take over the United States government. They will then enforce the mark of the beast on people, which will be when Sunday sacredness is enforced by law. And it's that kind of foolish thinking that this preacher was saying that is going to lead to it. If what you say is not supported by the Bible, I don't want to hear it. If my own heart is going to tell me something that goes against the Bible, I don't want to hear it. Never trust the feelings that come from your heart when they contradict God's word.